got a big crowd here, and it's a big week in the country. It started with the State of the Union address. It ends with the Super Bowl, and we are going to cover it all on tonight's show. And I think we should start with the big political event. Now, if you missed the State of the Union, I, I would like to show you some of the highlights. And I think we have a tape of that. We could run it here. Yes, it was a speech that lasted over an hour, and that can be a long time to go without a drink. I mean, I'm telling you. Long time. Hillary was there, of course, with Chelsea, sitting with distinguished people like this heroic rescuer from the Oklahoma City bombing. We all, there was also Holocaust survivor and Nobel Prize laureate Ellie Wiesel was there. And the winner of HBO's Funniest Mayor in America, Norm Rice, he was there! Uh, meanwhile, Vice President Al Gore remains in a coma. <laughs> now, can you spot the cabinet official who is not on the White House basketball team? <laughs> of course, both Republicans and Democrats love the little trick that Warren Christopher can do with his ears. Isn't that cute? That's cute. Now, during the speech, Clinton raised the idea of making student uniforms mandatory in public schools. Now, no one can figure out where he came up with the idea of everybody dressing the same. I mean, where could he, where could he come up with that? Anyway, as speeches go, it was pretty good, I guess, especially the part where the president tried to have a little fun uh, with the audience with a quick game of the old favorite, Simon Says. Applaud. Okay. <laughs> Simon Says applaud. Simon Says. All right. Simon Says stop. Simon Says look up. Great. That was wonderful. A great speech. So... That's my analysis, that's my commentary on the State of the Union Address, and of course there'll be a lot of expert commentary during the big game tomorrow, and I only hope it'll be a little better than this.